I made this recipe a few weeks ago. It is such good bread. I'm going ahead, I'm making it again because I have some plans for it for dinners and lunches. So I wanna go ahead and get it started right away. It takes a little bit to get the milk and the butter mixture to cool down. So that's what we have here. It's all cooled down to the right temperature and I have my yeast that's been um, activating in the bowl. So let's go ahead and get this started. It says to go ahead and add three cups right away. So I'm going to get my three cups added in. So I was making sourdough and I was really enjoying the sourdough, um, but I unfortunately let my sourdough die and I just haven't really like had that motivation to go ahead and restart a starter. So I have been making just regular bread. I'm really excited about this recipe specifically since I've already made it and it turned out so good. And my daughter, I don't know if this is weird. Okay, you'll have to let me know what you guys like. My daughter likes the butt of the bread. I am not that kind of a person. You are not gonna catch me trying to eat that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just bread, but I don't know. Ever since I was a young kid, you know, I like and never ate the butt of the bread. All right. So this is where we're at right now. So I'm gonna start adding in more flour. So do you guys like the butt or not like the butt of bread? Something that has really started to bring me a lot of joy at the same time it kind of stresses me out so I don't know like how to fix that correlation so what it is is I'm so happy while I'm cooking but the idea of like getting everything ready and like the mess of cooking um, it just kind of like overwhelms me to the point where like I don't want to do it I think my husband is on to something. He always tells me like, well, just clean up after you make like one dirty dish while you're waiting for whatever you have to wait for, clean the next dish. And he's right, that's exactly what I need to do. Um, but I never do. Okay, I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna get all of this off of this dough whisk and I'm going to grab, or I'm not gonna grab, I'm going to take my rings off so I don't get them full of dough and I'm going to hand knead this now since it is not so wet that I can't do that. So we have had just the strangest weather this year. We live in the North Woods, like Northern Midwest and we had our first brown Christmas in, I mean, since I've probably been alive and for reference, I will be 25 this year. And I don't ever recall having one this far north. And another thing is we did end up getting snow, but I mean, we didn't have snow almost all of February and all of March. And then the week before Easter, we ended up getting almost two feet of snow where I live. And yes, I know exactly what you're thinking. Two feet of snow, that's ridiculous. You're right, it is ridiculous. And I, I hated every second of it. Um, we now, so when we were getting that snowstorm, it snowed for four days, right? It started, so we got a little bit of snow, I think, on Friday. 
Saturday it was good, and then like Saturday night into Sunday it started to really come down. All of Sunday it snowed, almost all of Monday it snowed, all of Tuesday it snowed, and all of Wednesday it snowed. <sighs> Me, super optimistic, hoping that's the last snow we see, right? Here we are. This is, when I'm filming this, it is April 2nd, I believe, right? And here we are getting snow again today. Honestly, it's so warm out today though, that the snow isn't actually doing anything. Um, all that the snow is doing, it's basically raining, raining snow. Um, that might be the last flower that we needed. This is actually coming together really well. And normally if, so I would love like a KitchenAid mixer so that I could do this with. I bought one on Amazon that was not a KitchenAid and that sucker bit the dust. I don't think it was meant for this type of stuff. So I don't really like blame it, but all right. So my dough is done. Alright, so there is my dough bowl, dough bowl, my dough ball in my bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and just cover this with some plastic wrap and then leave it over there because that's like the warmer side of my kitchen. And I'm going to let it rise. It says it only needs about an hour to rise, so that's what I'm going to go for. And then we'll divide it into two and get it going. So let me get that going. Alright everyone, if you can see here this doubled wonderfully i don't want to mess it up um so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to oil my two pans and we're going to go ahead and split this and roll it into two breads oh my daughter just woke up hopefully she falls back asleep but it doesn't sound very promising but let's go ahead and get started all right are you guys ready for that satisfying moment when you punch it you ready? That was probably the best one I've ever done. Alright, I got my two loaves. I'm going to cover them up and hopefully in about an hour we'll have bread ready to throw it in the oven.
All right, everybody. So I am all done with my bread. I will cut it probably in about an hour or two and most likely freeze one loaf. Um, it worked out well last time I did that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that again. I may have overcooked them just a little bit, um, but they feel soft on the inside, so I think they'll be okay. This is the book that I use to make it, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick little uh, show of that, and I'll leave it linked below. Um, if you do order it through my storefront, I can get a little bit of commission, so that would be pretty cool. Um, but I do love it, and a lot of the recipes that I've made is from this cookbook.